What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy, and I am Red. Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is Meta Game Minute with a very, very red man. I got sunburned. It was dumb. I should have put on sunscreen, but I didn't have any on me. But nonetheless, Metagame Minute is a weekly segment where Mike or I talk about anything we want to talk about in the board gaming industry. And this week, I want to talk about decoration. I want to talk about decor, specifically board game decor. Now, what I mean by that is a lot of people make kind of like decorations out of board games or board game components or a lot of times board game boards or just maybe they like print out some meeples or whatever you know a lot of people make kind of decorations specifically for their game rooms or just their house if they're really really into board games and i've always thought that was really really cool and i'm always like man i wish i had like a cool idea for some kind of like board game decor. And we have thrown around a couple different things, but nothing had really stuck for us, um, but we finally did make some. The only board game decor before we finally made some of our own was really something like this. This is a painting that one of our wonderful followers, Missy, made us. You can see the reflections of light in there. This is a uh, uh, us as a dinosaur tea party characters. Dinosaur tea party, of course, is by our sponsors, Restoration Games, and we love it. And this, and then this one right here, which someone made for us, which is uh, our, this game is Broken Logo. This is kind of the only specifically board game decor that we ever had in our studio. We'll be putting these back up as we finish out our studio here. But those are very specific to us. And the fact that there exists is amazing. The fact that a follower, the fact that we have followers to begin with is, is bananas. And the fact that someone cared about our stuff enough to paint us stuff is mind boggling and seriously. You have no idea what that means to us. It means more than the whole world. But that was kind of the only board game specific stuff because all of our tchotchkes and stuff up here aren't board game related. They're just kind of nerdy in general. Like we have Thor, we have Tupac, and we have the Weasel. Who I guess Tupac and the Weasel aren't really nerdy. But no, they're just kind of weird stuff that Mike and I like. But it's not really board game specific. Until now, we finally made board game specific stuff. And the thing that we made were these. I really love decanters. I'm a big, big fan of decanters. But here's the thing. Mike and I both don't drink. We don't drink at all. Never have, most likely never will. But I really like decanters. I just think they're classy. I love just like, oh, I'm going to pour some fancy diet cola into this fancy glass and drink it all fancy like. I assume that's what people say when they're drinking. But nonetheless, we had been collecting bits, little bits from board games, and we decided to put them in a couple of the decanters that I had been collecting over the years. And I had been collecting decanters for really no reason other than the fact that I just like them. I think they look cool. So we've decided to fill them with bits and then use them for board game decor. So we have this cool like square one with this really cool like globe stopper thing. We have our kind of tall skinny one right here, which has got a little one. This one was kind of hard because there's only so many bits we can fit in here because like dice and things like that were way too large to fit down this little skinny neck. But we really like this one as well. And then some of our clearer ones, we have this one, which is just kind of like a, just a very simple, very elegant um, decanter that I've always really, really liked. And it's really nice because you can see the bits really, really well. And you can see we have all different kinds of bits. And then always my favorite decanter has been the one with the hole, the one with the hole and then the cool and kind of cool big stopper here. But the one with the coal hole here is super, super cool. And we're gonna get up in here like this. You can kind of see all the different bits we have in there. So we have dice, we have like wooden shit. So we have uh, different like Orleans pieces, pieces from games that, you know, we got stuff up here from Keyflower, all this different kind of stuff. So down in the comments, I want you to let me know what games you see, what games you recognize, what games can you see in these different decanters. And now the reason why we've been collecting all these different bits is because we knew we wanted to make some kind of board game decor out of bits. And so anytime we have upgraded anything, like upgraded to metal coins or upgraded to like plastic bits and stuff like that, we have always kept those bits. We have always kept those in a bag because we knew someday we wanted to make board game decor out of them. And that's what we did with these. We actually were originally gonna fill an entire lamp, but then realized that we could do this instead. And we're still planning on filling that lamp, especially because we still have 
a lot of bits. We still have, you know, a whole big bag of different bits that we can use. And so we still plan on doing that, but at this point, we're probably gonna have to collect a little bit more to fill up that big old lamp. We do eventually wanna make a big lamp. I've always wanted to make stuff with like clear epoxy and like make coasters out of like clear epoxy and have different board game bits in them. We've done a little bit of that in the past. The problem is epoxy is kind of expensive um, and somewhat tough to use. And if you mess it up, then it's kind of like, okay, well, all those bits are gone and all that epoxy is gone. Whereas something like this, you can pour them in there like, oh, that doesn't really work. Well, then just pour them back out. It's no problem. So down in the comments, let us know, do you have any board game decor? Have you done anything like take your game of Pandemic Legacy, a game you'll never play again, or at least that specific game you'll never play again. I've seen people put like in a shadow box, like the board and all the cards they've ripped up and these really beautiful display pieces of Pandemic Legacy or Risk Legacy or a lot of different kinds of games. I think that's kind of really, really cool, especially even like old Monopoly boards. People put them up like kind of like posters, and I think that's a really cool look, and I think it's a really great addition to something like a game room. So let me know, have you done any board game decor, decor? Let me know down in the comments and follow us over on Twitter or Instagram or anywhere like that and tag us in pictures. Post your pictures online. You just follow us on the Brothers Murph everywhere and, and tag us in those pictures because we want to see them. I really like board game decor. I want to do more and more and more of it, especially after these really easy, fun little decanters. I just want to do more. I'm very, very excited about it. So down in the comments, let us know um, what you've done. And while you're down there, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by August. We're going to see if we can get there. But hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're the Brothers Murph. We do all sorts of board game stuff all the time. And I'm not always this red. And until next time, whether you have all the board game decor and you have the dopest game room ever, or your game room is just like taupe and you got a board game table in the middle and you're like, man, I just play 40K in here. That's super cool too. And remember, no matter which one you do, the more meta, the more better. How's it going? Just want to let you know that we are sponsored by Restoration Games. Restoration Games make wonderful, wonderful games from the past and restore them for you. And everything we film, everything we play is on top of Game Toppers, which is a really wonderful way to upgrade your gaming experience. Go check out Restoration Games and Game Toppers LLC for more information. All right, cool. I feel like I need that one. Ow. Okay. Nick. What is it, big face, disheveled Nick? Nick, I just want to let you know that we like French toast. Cool. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. Nick. Yeah. Get rid of Mike. What? What? Why would you say that?